Ow! 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 My foot! He's crying because he's got a thorn stuck in the bottom of his foot. Ow. Can you help me, boy? What appears to be the problem? It's this thorn. I got it stuck in my foot and I can't get it out. I can't help. I'm pedophobic. How would you like me to tear your head off with my bare hands? I don't think I'd like that very much. Then help me out, please. Okay, okay, let's have a look. Soon have this out. It might sting a bit. Bro! There we are. All done. Thank you so much. I'm forever in your debt. Think nothing of it. Okay, but here, take this whistle. If you ever need any help, just blow it and I'll be there. Thanks. What a nice guy. It's a box of safety matches. Excuse me, uh, boy? Yeah? Uh, well, uh, I can't quite remember. Uh, never mind. Right. Excuse me. <laughs> Have you remembered what it was you wanted yet? Wanted? Uh, did I want something? Yes. What uh, did I want? I don't know. You couldn't remember. Nonsense. I can... Uh, uh, remember? Remember everything. I'm a uh, uh, wise owl. I'm just not very good with... Words? Words, yes. Uh... I really think I'm wasting my time here. Yes, uh, probably. Okay, bye then. Um, bye. says, caution, paleontological dig in process. There's a strange man digging down there. Hello? Is there anybody down there? Ain't nobody here but us chickens. Are you some sort of sewage worker? Ha! Do you not know who I am? You're fixing a gas leak? No, I'm the famous Dr. Von Jones. 
What are you doing down there? Philistine, I'm the most famous paleontologist in the world. I'm looking for the missing link between man and vegetable. You mean Dan Quayle? No, I mean fossils, my boy. They are the key to this mystery. You haven't seen any lying around, have you? Uh, no. If you do see any, be sure to let me know. Okay. Please go now. I've reached a new seam of very promising rock strata. I can tell when I'm not wanted. Oi, dwarves only. I am a dwarf. Of course you are. Now sod off or we'll taste a sharp end of my spear. Nice people. I'd better knock. Ah! Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Huh? It is so nice to have Persian come visit me. I is so pleased. Are you some sort of boggy person? Not a boggy person. I is one and only swampling, the bestest cook in the land. People come for around miles to eat swamp stew. But it smells revolting. Let me out of here before I chuck up. Wow! I thought you were my first birthday friend. I thought you'd come to play with me for my birthday. No one ever comes to see me anymore. It's your birthday. It is. Nobody had arrived here yet. I is spending ages making swamp stew. And I is saving my money for hats and cakes. I invited all my bestest friends. I can't wait for them to get here. I had no idea it was your birthday. My actual birthday was two weeks ago. I don't mind you being like them. Everyone else is. I think your costume's really good. Uh, don't worry, though. I've come for your birthday. Sit! Sit! I bring special birthday stew! Hang on, I didn't agree to... Friend! I give my friend special swamp stew! Ancient and secret recipe handed down from swampling to swampling for generations! What's in this stuff? Ancient secret recipe! Can't tell secret ingredients! Set one, swamp mud, very important ingredient! Mud? And you expect me to eat this? Well, nobody likes swampling! 
Jane's cooking no more. I spent hours making stew and then have to throw it. No one comes to eat here now. <laughs> Don't waste it. I quite fancy a bowl now. Goody! I'm very pleased with this batch. Extra woodlouse works well. I wish this was happening to you instead of me. I think I hear someone. Goody! I think some more friends have arrived. <laughs> you like it? Plenty more for a friend. It was delicious, but I really have to go now. Eat up! It's good for you. Oh, no. I couldn't rob him of his livelihood. I couldn't rob him of his livelihood. That was a lucky escape. should have known this would happen. Excuse me? Yeah? Down on your luck, mate. Very observant. You look like you need cheering up. No one could cheer me up. My life is in ruins. You just gotta take the rough with the smooth. In my case, I just have to take the rough with the rougher. What did I do to deserve this? What exactly is the problem? Trees. Trees? Trees. The big hard brown things with green bits? Trees, yes. I thought woodcutters were problems for trees. Not these trees around here. What's so special about these trees? They have some sort of magical protection over them. The blows of my axe just bounce off. Sounds like they must be rubber trees to me. Yeah, I guessed as much. Who would magically protect a tree? Wizards are a weird bunch. Who could guess at their motives? Why don't you just go back to a normal forest? Because all my money is tied up in this house, I can't afford to go back. It looked like a real woodcutter's paradise in the brochure. Now I know why none of the others came here. Why don't you just buy a magical axe? Do you know how much those things cost? The only thing that'll help me is an axe made of Milrith. Milrith? It's an anagram of Mithril. It's also the hardest metal known to man. Well, there you are then. Problem solved. No, it isn't. Milrith is incredibly rare. I don't know anyone that's ever seen it.
I haven't seen any either. That doesn't surprise me. When I asked the dwarves, I just laughed and gave me this metal detector. Did it do any good? If it had done, then I wouldn't be here now, would I? Why don't you take the bloody thing? You couldn't do any worse than me. Okay. I'll have to sell everything. chalked on it. I thought I told you to get lost. But I am a dwarf. Look, pal. Dwarves have beards. Now push off. I shaved it off. If you ain't out of my sight in three seconds. Wow. Very sophisticated. Itchy, though. All right, mate. All right. What's the password, then? Is it beer? You may pass. Right on. Watch your fellow dwarf. Go away, I'm busy. Need any help? No. This is a stick-up. Give me the gem, stunty. Oh, do push off. Excuse me. Hello! Wow, heavy sleeper. He looks drunk. He probably couldn't tell his ass from his elbow. Hey! Strike up an intelligent conversation. <laughs> There's no point. They're all empty.